Hi guys, this is Vishal from Trap Code. So in the previous video, we have seen how to create a collection, how to add fields to the collection and how to add data to the field. Now in this video, we will understand how to display data from collections on a UI, on a page, right? So I already have a collection uh, called person. It has a couple of fields, full name, date of birth, email address, status, photo, created it, right? So now let's see, I want to display this data on a web page, right? Or maybe I want to build or some cards or some tablet layout or a list where I want to display the list of person. So how do we do it? So I have this page, let's say I want to display the data in the form of table. So how do I do it? So I'll go to the components in search for data table component, data table. So here it is, I'll just now I choose bring data from collection. So there are options to bring data from external API from browser session. Let's just skip it for now. Just focus on bringing data from internal trap code collection. So I'll just get data from collection. I'll say from person and that's all in all items. Filter we'll quickly cover in the next videos. But for now, I just want to bring all items. So if you see, it has actually built a table, a table which has search bar, which has a download CSV option and other things. So this is a default table which gets created for any collection. Then you can modify it as you need. So let's say I want this from left to right. Sorry, right to left. It is here. And let's say after I want to display uh, created at. Okay, so we have a field called created at. So I'll just go to the settings. From here, I choose the field which is created at. So I can give whatever name I want to give. Okay, now let's go and preview this. So what this should, this should bring the data from the collection, bring all the data. So it is bringing the two records. Now let's say these are the photos, but it is bringing the name. How do I bring the photo? So I go to the component, look for image and just drag and drop. Okay, and let's say give some uh, height, it's 250, I'll just reduce it, uh, let's say auto. Okay, and width probably, let's say 100 pixel. Okay, so that the image does not get distorted. So height is auto, width is 100 pixel. So I just go and reload the page. So here it is. You see the image is here and the data is here. Now, as you know, the trap code works on uh, a bootstrap framework so these are all bootstrap classes so let me just remove some class so let's say i don't need this uh, alternate coloring so which is coming from a uh, table stripe so i just removed it so that it should get removed so here is the data let's say i want to search something i'll just say vishal and just hit the enter so it is now bringing me vishal let's say robert I can also apply pagination. So as of now, this is inactive because I think the default setting is 10 records per page. So let's say I want, I don't have 20 records or 15 records. I have only two records, so I'll just change it to one. So I say display one record on a table and then do the pagination. So I'll just reload this page. So it is only showing me one record. I'll click next, it will bring next. So let's say we have pagination of 10. So it shows 10, then 10, then 10, then 10. Let's say 100 records. So you can navigate up to 10 pages. Okay, so like this. So pagination is there. Okay, and let's say you want to download something, the data, you can just click download CSV. It gives you the CSV of the data, which is there on the data table. So this is the data name, date of birth, marital status and id so this is a, a unique id for each record in the trap code collection right and these are edit and delete button these are non-functional as of now because we have not implemented the edit and delete functionality once we'll implement it we'll come to this for now uh, we're just displaying the data filtering it on the basis of uh, like some parameters, date, uh, email address, and then metal status, downloading it, searching it, and pagination. So this is how you basically display data in a tabular format when building no code application on Trapcode. See you again in the next video. Bye-bye.